Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Got another question in here on the email from Ryan Mackerel. Uh, I think I'm saying that right. Um, Ryan from Utah. Ryan says, I wanted to submit a question for your YouTube channel. I'm an enthusiast photographer who recently sold off my crop sensor DSLR gear and I'm now in the market for a full frame system. 90% of my photography is landscapes, but occasionally I shoot weather like lightning storms as well as can uh, family candidates and wildlife. I do print my work. Uh, sometimes as large as 1116 at 300 dpi. I'm willing to invest in some pro level gear, but do not want to make a mistake and regret buying into one system over the other. I plan on buying one sharp multi purpose lens to begin with and add more over time, such as a 70 to 200 in wide angle. My crop frame experience is with Nikon, but I am in decision paralysis when comparing the D810 versus the 5DSR versus the A7R2 and so on. I also spend a lot of time with my gear in the in, in the outdoors, so weather sealing is a consideration as well. Then to top it up, uh, to top it off, Photokina is in one month, and I figure I better wait until all of the show announcements have been made. Any advice, Ryan from Utah? Well, first of all, Ryan, I totally agree with you because Photokina is so close. It's probably worth it just to wait to see what's announced in case there's something that you're going. Darn! I would have bought that. So that's not a bad idea to wait if you're not in a in a super hurry, which hurry, which it doesn't sound like you are. Um, out of those three, the Nikon D810, uh, the Canon 5 DSR, and the A7R2 from Sony, uh, my heart jumps to the D810, the Nikon D810. I have that camera here. Hang on one sec. Here it is, right here. So this is the 810. Oh, banging it into my mic um, with the 24. 70 f2.8 non vr so this is the g that was not vr so i've done a lot of shooting with this camera and i love it um you can't i, I used to think well 36 megapixels is overkill you don't need it but i can't begin to tell you how much you can't overestimate how nice it is to have that 36 megapixels uh amazing low light performer because you can bring them down like most stuff you're shooting in low light you probably don't need it more than 12 megapixels and all of a sudden that gives you like adding a couple stops of high ISO use because when you export it down in Lightroom from RAW it cleans up like you wouldn't believe because you're getting it's like you're taking a power file and you know if you make a 12 megapixel JPEG from it really clean image and the detail in this thing is incredible plus the camera performs very nicely very good autofocus system very, just a beautifully performing camera. I just really, really like this camera. And because there may be an update soon, you're seeing a lot of deals on this 810. A lot of deals. Um, I've seen them for like 14, 1500. I mean, I think people have written in and said that they've bought them used for closer to a thousand and twelve hundred. In which case, yeah, that 810, it's amazing. Even, I would go with the 800. You don't need to get an 810, you can even go with the 800. That's where I go. Um, and I love this lens, but I'd almost be more inclined to recommend you get the 24 to 120 f4 VR. I think it's a very good performing lens. I would go with one of those two. I would go with either that 24 to 120 f4 VR, the constant aperture new one, or I would save some money and get this older 24 to 70 f2.8 G non VR lens. That's the lenses I would go with for your first decent lens with it. And that's what I would do. Um, no doubt the 5DSR is a great performing camera, but it costs you a whole pile much more money. Um, and the Sony a7R2, battery life isn't as good. Some other things with Sony lens selection, not a big a fan of. So not as big a fan. Great camera. I mean, if you if that's what you want to go with, it's probably going to serve you well. This is my recommendation. I love this thing. <laughs> um, am I biased? I don't think so. I've shot with some of the Sonys. I haven't shot with the 5DSR. But I own a Canon 70D and I've shot 5Ds over the years. So, you know, I've shot a lot of different cameras. I do love the Nikon D610 as well. But this guy, especially if you can get it at a really good deal right now, I think it's the way to go. What do you guys think? Do you agree with me? Is the 810 the way to go? Or am I full of beans? Would you think he should get the 5DSR? Do you think he should get the Sony a7R2? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think and why. Let's help Ryan out. Let's help him make his decision. And uh, thanks for your question, Ryan. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.